Here is my sister at three years old, 63 years ago. She was born with an unusual birth defect. Her tibias, the bone between the knees and the ankles, were gone, missing. So her legs were amputated from the knees down and she was given wooden legs. She learned to walk on them by pushing a baby carriage with me in it. But that didn't stop her. For those of you who know my sister, Tori, you know she's unstoppable. In the winter, the oil in her pneumatic knees would almost freeze, so she couldn't bend her legs, but we still played outside. Inside the house, we were jealous because Tori could walk on her hands. I remember my mother sighing about how Tori had to go up all those stairs to monuments in Washington, D.C. for our family trip. This was at the age of 12, with my dad leading the whirlwind tour to see everything. You see, Tori never gave up. She went to college out of state, worked as an interior architect, moved to Houston, and later married John. They ran their own business making interactive educational exhibits, mostly for children's museums, for 25 years. They packed their bags when exhibit funding slowed considerably in 2011 and moved to Ecuador. All that time, for 30 years, she wore out only two sets of prosthetic legs because they were so well fitted and well made. Two years ago, Tori came back to the United States to finally get another pair of legs. The old legs were cracked, patched, and completely worn out they were beginning to damage her natural legs. So the brothers and I pitched in to buy a new pair of legs by a reputable company recommended by my orthopedic surgeon brother. And the legs were a technological marvel, but even after six months of going back for adjustments, the company couldn't make the sockets fit. And Tori, as unstoppable as she was, couldn't endure the sharp and aching pains at the bone which would have been her knee. She was persistent, but it turns out that prosthetic companies in the U.S., and even those with nationally renowned experts, focus more on technology than on fit. So Tori isn't wearing her legs. The unstoppable Tori has been stopped. She tries. She wears her short legs about an hour a day until she can't take the pain. But out of persisting to get legs that will fit, Tori found a company in Ecuador who can relieve her pain and give her back her life. So Tori will have the technology from the U.S. and the fit from south of the equator, where one of two experts at making prostheses is also an amputee. These craftsmen are 100% about making sockets fit. And compared to the $40,000 for the American legs, these come at out-of-country prices. I didn't say this earlier, but Tori's husband and longtime soulmate died suddenly of a heart attack just before she came to the States to get her new legs. So Tori is on her own living on a limited income. I'm here to ask if you can help with a donation toward her new legs. Let's make Tori a mobile person, and even more than that, unstoppable. <laughs>